What up, world? This is Mike Bass Outdoors. As my man MDJ would say, we about to go try and catch some dodos. Like and subscribe to the channel. This is our vlog. We about to just go fishing. Whichever way the wind blows is where we going. Stay tuned. So we're on the road. We're on our way to try and catch some dodos. <laughs> that is so funny that Mark Daniels and Jacob Willer call him that, DC. Shout out to all those guys. Uh, but I was thinking, you know, this is a great time to think when you're on the road. Uh, what is one of the most important parts of bass fishing and your tournament fishing that is probably overlooked? And that is losing. It's the part we all hate the most. We all hate to lose, we love to win. But you learn more from losing than you do from winning. And you can learn from some of the things you do during a tournament winning, no doubt because it validates what you were doing. You know, it, it lets you know, hey, this was right that I was doing. But losing lets you know, I didn't do or look or present or find what I should have found. I was just off a little bit. And that is so important. The reason I bring this up is we had a little engagement type of fishing tournament for a buddy uh, Rich Mullen shout out to you and Don congratulations as well but it was all for a big bass and I was thinking to myself I was like wow how awesome is it when you show up and you catch a bunch of I caught some fish I think the biggest being 17 and 3 quarter they had to be 18 inches to keep long story short a guy named Mike Costelli won very good friend of mine He's awesome. He's an awesome fisherman. Everybody out there was awesome. Richie caught several four pounders and was just shy, but that, it doesn't matter. There were some other guys from uh, a lake called Holiday Shores, where most of them come from, because that's where they live. They live on that resident lake, but they brought some fish to the scales, man, and I, I couldn't bring nothing to the scales. So I was like, what did I do wrong? And it come to find out, I didn't, I wasn't doing too much wrong. I just wasn't right where the majority of those bigger fish were moving to. And it seemed like they were moving to points and stuff. By the way, the dodo catching is going to be a shout out to those guys if we catch them. Because we're going to go back to that lake and try to validate what they said was going on. I caught them doing somewhat of that. But I was, it was at the end of the day. I was too busy looking for suspended fish on bigger, bigger laydowns on the main lake and channel swing stuff instead of targeting the points. For whatever reason, the fish were on the points and I caught fish on the points. Last hour I caught my biggest fish it was like 17 and a half inches long. And I was like, wow, I wish I would have did that all day. And that was because a guy up in front of me caught one on a main lake point that I seen and I was like, wow, I, I, I might have messed up. But what, long story short, what I'm trying to say is, is you learn more from losing than you do winning. And that is one of the great aspects of fishing. If you're worried about what other people think of you or if you know it all, then you're already defeating yourself. A lot of this is being humble and understanding there are times when you are not going to win you're gonna suck badly sometimes that's fishing that's what makes fishing so great when you do win you appreciate it